Semper Fi everyone, welcome to the latest installment of Recon Jack. I'm your host, United States Marine Corps veteran and living historian, Charlie Lynch. On today's episode, we will again return to discuss some of the weaponry that was used during World War II by U.S. service members, as well as to see some displays of weapons and gear carried by servicemen during the Vietnam War. Hello, my name is Kevin Kuhn. I'm a World War II reenactor here at the Altoona Railroaders Museum. We're honoring the uh, veteran community past and present this weekend and also connecting it to our hometown's railroad history. I have a small weapons display with me today of some of the more common weaponry that would have been carried by the American soldier during the Second World War. First and foremost is the Browning model of 1919, A4 configuration, medium machine gun. It was a crew served weapon chambered in 30-06 on a tripod. It was used on vehicles, aircraft, as well as ground units as well. On the tables, I also have some of the small arms used by the American forces in the Pacific Theater of Operation and the European Theater of Operation. We have the M1 Garin rifle, started production in the late 1930s and continued production into the 1950s. It was utilized in the Second World War, Korean War, and then was in the Lend-Lease program where it was given to other nations that were being aided by the United States. I also have a Winchester model of 1897 trench shotgun that was predominantly used by both Army and Marine forces during the First World War, then was also issued during the Second World War. It was heavily used in the Pacific Theater of Operation by the United States Marine Corps. I also have a model of 1917 Enfield rifle, the American Enfield. This one was produced by Remington Arms. Originally developed in 1914 as the P-14 rifle for the British Empire, chambered in 303 British. It was rechambered in 1917 in 30-06 for use by the Americans. Going into World War II, we were still issuing bolt-action rifles, and presently here there is a 1903A3 rifle, chambered in 30-06, with a five-round internal magazine fed by a stripper clip. It was used by our forces through the duration of the war, and also had other variations as the one presented below it, the A4 configuration or snipe rifle variant. On the other table, we have the M1 carbine rifle, produced in the late 1930s. The M1 was used throughout the war with a 15-round detachable box magazine. Going into 1945, we developed the M2 configuration, which had a select fire for fully automatic fire and a bayonet lug added to the end of it, as well as an adjustable rear sight. And going into Korea, it was issued with a 30-round magazine. And beneath that is the model of 1911, 1911 45 ACP pistol. That was issued by our forces for the First World War, Second World War, Korea, and Vietnam. Below that is a model of 1928 Thompson submachine gun. This was a expensive and difficult weapon to produce. Uh, was issued to the British and the Allies, in, or the Americans during the war issued with a 20 round magazine or a 50 round or 100 round drum magazine. In 1942 we began to start looking at a more cost effective version. We went to the M1 and then an even more simplified version with the M1A1. Starting in 1942 right around the invasion of North Africa we were issuing the M1A1. And then below that is the model of 1917 revolver. This revolver was an add-on to our arsenal the 1911, we did not have the appropriate production capability for the 1911. We went back to Colt. Had them pretty much dust off the old blueprints for the model of 1909 45 ACP revolver. They had already started production of this in 455 Webley for issuing in the British forces. And we started producing it in 45 ACP with the model of 1917 that's there below. And a big thank you for you again, Kevin. And any last words before you go? Thank you all for enjoying watching. <laughs> ah, I got your weapon thing. There, oh, thank you. There's Randy Deal. He was the gentleman we were just talking about earlier. 
Vietnam War veteran, thank you for your service. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Recon Jack and perhaps you've learned something new. Stay tuned for more episodes as I continue to explore the hallowed history, traditions, and individuals of the United States Marine Corps. As always, feel free to like this video, subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell, and leave a comment in the section below. I always enjoy interacting with you folks and seeing the growth of this channel. Also, don't hesitate to tell a friend or family member or email me directly to recon underscore jack at hotmail.com. As always, Semper Fi and carry on.